Welcome back to I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Uh, we met a bunch of characters in the last episode. Uh, Madamus is going to the Cooking Academy of the three day with three day semesters. We're talking about an advanced course, and we left with Colonel Sanders talking to us. I'm I'm almost petrified by his beauty and him blowing us a kiss right now. But we're gonna continue on. We're gonna see how this goes. And um, you know what? There's not much else I can say about this. We're just we're just going to get into this. This is yeah. We're we're just going. You freeze up. Colonel Sanders is talking to you. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you. About how sweaty you look. You're completely mortified. We did run without deodorant to school, so it's probably pretty bad. I maybe shouldn't have daydreamed uh, most of the morning away. This can't be your first interaction. What if he never forgets this moment? Oh, none of us are going to forget this moment. How will you respond? Take the handkerchief or refuse the handkerchief? Well, we don't want to be rude. We don't want to be like Ashley or Van Van. So we're going to take the handkerchief. You stretch out your hand and Colonel Sanders places a fine silk handkerchief in it. It's so beautiful, you hesitate to press it to your face. Did he just emit hearts? But when you do, the feeling is transcendent. It has his natural scent on it. Ew! It smells of the most delicious chicken you have ever smelled. I think this game has subliminal messaging. I kind of want chicken. Professor Dog steps in to settle the class down and set some ground rules. Welcome to University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. It's the best name I could come up with because I am Dog. The greatest culinary academy in the world. The birthplace of culinary legends past, present, and future. Many challenges await you. Mainly learning from dog. There will be tears. There will be blood. There might even be really adorable tiny food. Because everyone loves adorable tiny food. And when all is said and done, there will be a battle! You will lift your sporks and compete in the broom cooking arena. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor's rousing speech. Hi guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss... Quiet! Late to class is bad enough, but interrupting my monologue... You are on a fast track out of here, young man. Are you sure you are even in the right place? Don't you recognize me? This is my third year in this school with you as my teacher. Everyone stares at him blankly. Does no one remember me? I'm... You're expelled if you utter one more word before I finish. Let that be a lesson to you students that tardiness is unacceptable. Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. You turn to see the student Sprinkles is re referencing, who appears to be some sort of industrial kitchen appliance. Bzzz, word. The class burst out into laughter. As so they should. Oh, Clank, you rascal. Sprinkles walks in the classroom as everyone stands in silent obedience. When he gets to you, he lifts his nose into the air and takes a deep sniff. I'm sorry, I have a personal space bubble and you are all up in it. Hmm... Your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. Rude? You've never had a talking dog as a teacher before, but Sprinkle's reputation for being smart 
but tough is well known. Is he going to give me a physical? That might be a little rough as well. He might get barking mad. You decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket. But what kind? Uh, it says a beef treat, a rubber ball, and a chicken snack. Being as this is a uh, KFC game, we're going to go with the obvious and hit chicken snack. You reach beneath your apron and return with a chicken snack in your hand. Sprinkle's eyes go wide as he locks onto it. You pretend to throw it and he runs out of the classroom thinking you threw it. His favorite. Well, well, well. I think there might be some competition for a new star student. If that's all it takes t to become star student, you are going to be swimming in chicken treats. The furry professor immediately devours the snack, leaving your hands slick with a coating of warm doggy drool. Gross. Now I have to go wash my hands before I handle food. You see the other students eyeing you jealously, but pay no mind to them. If they wanted to succeed in life, they should have learned to the importance of carrying a range of dog treat flavors on them at all times. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds opened to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Madamus, there's still a seat here! It seems that no one has claimed this seat next to me, if you're interested. Two good options, but which one will you choose? You know, I don't want to insult my best friend, but I did take a silk handkerchief from Colonel Sanders. This is very important. But you are also sweaty. But I am also sweaty. And smell like chicken. And I need a multivitamin. And covered in dog drool. Yeah, it's not probably a good idea to sit next to the fine and salacious Colonel Sanders. So we are going to, we're going to sit next to Miriam. You move to take your seat by Miriam. I'm so glad to have you near me to support me through this class! Of course! You're my best friend! Who else would I sit by? Colonel Sanders? He has such a magnetic personality, and there's a seat open right next to him. If you had sat there, you might have gotten to know him a little better! I'd never sacrifice our friendship. Besides, I'm sure I'll get a chance to talk to him later in the semester. I've got three whole days. That's like a lifetime! So you say, but now that Miriam mentions it, that Colonel Sanders is just so darn dreamy. Yes, I am saying these lines with a straight face. For the most part. As soon as you've settled into your seat, the professor makes an announcement. Think fast! It is time for pop quiz! This is incredibly important and surprisingly short quiz will tell me if you are ready for life at culinary school. Keep your knives sharp and your focus sharper. Here comes question one. If a train is traveling to point B and train B is traveling to point A, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Meh, depends. Doesn't matter at all, or extremely. Looking at you, Pop. Now, for those of you who work in culinary, uh, yes, you wash your hands. That's right. Because I know. Forest is to tree as chicken is to feather, night vision goggles, or a slam dunk. I'm going to say it's feather. That's right. See? Because, you know, chickens have feathers. What is the most efficient eating utensil ever created? 
a comically oversized fork, a meat tenderizer, or a spork. Now I'm going to dig into my knowledge of eating at KFC, and since I don't have forks anymore, I'm going to assume it's a spork. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. See? That's right. What food is best for a broken heart? Uh, that would be ice cream. Cake. Or cake. Anything as long as it's prepared with love and not too much salt. Camel meat? Or a pancake that looks like a silly face? I kind of want to say camel meat, but I know that's wrong, so let's go with anything. That's right. Is Sprinkles a good boy? No. He's the talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. Or yes. Well, there's only one obvious answer, and it's no, because he's got a spatula in his mouth. But I'll be nice to him, since I gave him a chicken treat, and I'll say he's best boy. Of course that's right, he's talking about himself. Your total score is a perfect 5 out of 5. Wow, be honest. Did you cheat? Well, it's a dog. The last answer was pretty obvious. Everything else was chicken related. <laughs> you look up to see that Colonel Sanders has been watching you tally your score. He's impressed. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. Did he just fart how, uh, Fart hearts again? <laughs> Hot diggity. Madamus, you just scored some major Colonel Sanders points with that performance. May I have your attention, students? I have an important announcement to make. Prom will be tomorrow. I hope you have everything paid off and your dates ready. Time for lunch! And with that, we're gonna stop here. We we aced our pop quiz, which is good. We could have scored some extra points with um, sitting next to Colonel Sanders, but we were a good friend and sat next to our best friend. This game is ridiculous. I hope you come back and join me next time while we um, explore more of this three-day culinary catastrophe. I hope, to see you, I hope to see you guys next time. Have a good night.